folks, you know, knowing the qualities, folks, that if left alone, they would, they would do their job. You always have the responsibility as a leader to go back and exercise the last troop leading step, which is supervise. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the question is how, how frequently do you do that? You know? you, I mean, you go back and read Gazette going back to 1942, you know, and every, every three months there's an article in there about how officers are over-supervising, you know, uh, over-managing uh, their Marines out there. I mean, it's always going to be a struggle. What's the right amount? of management, what's the right amount of leadership. I think it depends upon trust. The trust that you have in the Marines who work for you. And your willingness to accept honest mistakes. I took over a battalion, 3-5, uh, where the leadership example before me was not like that. Okay? I mean, every mistake, regardless of how major or how minor, resulted in essentially the same punishment. They call it, the officers call it being rapperized, you know, you, whatever it was, you know. And the first time that a, you know, an officer made a mistake and I didn't shoot him on the spot, it was a, an epiphany for the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Sir? Well, uh, what's the environment like for uh, money, getting money for Second Genesis? It's tough. Um, and we were talking about that before, uh, before lunch here, too. We are... Uh, most of these companies, like Second Genesis, Phoenix House, Odyssey, Daytop, were all started back in the 60s. Um, and they all started as um, nonprofits, uh, and their major source of funding was donations. Okay? They were all, they all became sort of iconic organizations in the, in, their, in the areas that they serviced. In about, as far as I can tell, in about the uh, late 70s, early 80s, almost all of them affiliated themselves with some level of government. Okay? At that time, it's probably a good decision. The contracts we have with government are good contracts. You know, they generally last for four or five years before they're renewed. If you're doing a good job, it's usually not difficult to renew the contract. When the tax coffers are full, uh, the agencies that we're contracted to send you people. Uh, you treat them, and then the agency pays you for treating those people. Uh, and they send a lot of people to you. Uh, when the tax coffers aren't full, then exactly the ap opposite happens. They don't send you the people, and when they don't send you the people, you don't get paid for them. We are about 98.5% publicly funded at Second Genesis. That, in this environment, is a real weakness, is a real challenge. So we're looking for other funding streams, other opportunities. Uh, when I got there, we weren't applying for foundation grants. We are now. And over the last, <clears throat> gosh, I guess year and a half, we've received something in excess of a quarter million dollars in, in grants. The problem with the grants are is that they're usually restricted money. You can only use them for things, for certain things. Uh, as an example, we got a grant from General Dynamics for our, we I have a program for veterans, homeless veterans up in uh, Crownsville, Maryland. And we got uh, $75,000, I think, from General Dynamics to um, uh, connect our emergency generator to the system up there to uh, put in a sprinkler system uh, for fire prevention and to repave the basketball court up there so they've got a place to recreate. Um, we're just completing construction on a, uh, uh, at our Melwood facility, the program for women and women with children, uh, a new parenting center that's costing us about $130,000. All of that money came from grants kind of thing. So it's tough right now. It's really tough. It's any nonprofit, uh, all nonprofits are experiencing fundraising difficulties right now. And I think it's a, and it's a particular challenge for us. So if you want to give the second genesis folks, you know, <coughs> collect the checks outside the door. You know. It's a tough time. Tough time. Okay, I think that's it. That's Thank it. you. Thank you all. Thank you.